Hey, I'm Spencer Shaw. I'm the worship pastor here at First Baptist Marlowe, sitting with Dr. Joe Ligon, our senior pastor, also our senior pastor for our, uh, Connection Church over in Elgin. Uh, we wanted to kind of recap uh, what, we, what we talked about in the sermon this last Sunday. Uh, Joe, if you could kind of start by telling us what kind of birthed this new vision that you laid out for us. Well, I think historically the American church um, has put a lot of effort into the Sunday morning experience, and rightfully so. The Bible tells us it's important for us to gather together, and we know that. But I think for too long, for too many years, perhaps decades, uh, the American church has put all of its eggs in that Sunday morning basket. And, and we've fallen into that as well, Spencer. We, right. we believe that we have a responsibility to provide our best on Sunday morning, that God deserves our best, and the people that come here deserve that as well. And I'm not going to argue with that, but I think the struggle has been that we have tended to make um, Sunday morning the point. And when Sunday morning becomes the point, then what does that mean for Monday? Right. Um, and so there's got to be more to the Christian life. There's got to be more to being a Christ follower than just coming to church on Sunday and experiencing some sort of worship event. And so out of that tension that we've all felt, uh, we began to search the scripture and search our hearts and look as, at what God would have us to do. And out of that, we came the idea of inhabit the city, right. regardless of which city we live in, to inhabit the city. And, that, and that's part of what, a big part of what I talked about on Sunday. Right. Um, but, and for those of you that weren't here, we got to got to hear a lot of, of really cool strategy coming up. Um, it kind of is, um, the way I heard it from you Sunday, is there's, there's kind of these three levels. And the first is this big church outreach um, that I think we're, we're actually, as a church, pretty good at doing. We've been doing uh, for several years things like a gas buy down, uh, Christmas store, school days, those kinds of things. Um, we are still going to do these huge community outreach events where uh, at the... At the the most basic entry level as a member in the church or even as a, just a church attender, you can come and go alongside us and do these ministry things. Um, but this year we, we are going to focus much more on, on smaller group ministry. Uh, in that second level down, if we look at our Sunday schools and our small groups, um, they are going to be adopting uh, organizations around the city, um, you know, that's Marlowe, Rush, Duncan, uh, Bray, wherever. Um, and kind of taking care of these small groups of people, praying for them, um, bringing them food, doing nice things for them, service acts. Um, I think we have a huge opportunity for, for growth in that area. Um, being able to, to live out the gospel that way not only affects those on the outside, but also will strengthen our own faith here. Um, beyond exactly. that, we'll move down to a, an individual level where you've, you've challenged the church to every week try to bless three different people. Exactly. And I think on Sunday you said one of, one of whom doesn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. um, What's, what's crazy is this week we've already seen this huge influx of like all these stories of people that are already doing that, you know, one or two days out. Um, I, I mean, I was totally surprised by, by that. And it's such a, such a cool thing. And my hope is that all of that comes back in and what you, you know, you're talking about the point being what is out there in the ministry and all that, all of that coming back in on Sunday, we'll be able to, to look at one another, celebrate the testimonies, um, and then turn around and prepare for another week. And that, that's just a really cool thing. Right? Exactly right. It, it's, been, it's been often said that we are better together. Uh, so as a church, we can accomplish a lot more as a church body than any of us could as individuals. Yeah. But when we move to that second level of small groups and Sunday schools, even there, we're better together. A small group of people, a Sunday school class, can accomplish a lot more than the individuals of that class can accomplish. But then, of course, there is that individual level that you talked about, that as we move about individually, that we're, we're conscious and aware of what's going on around us, knowing that God has blessed us, and he hasn't blessed us just so we can be blessed. He has blessed us so that we can bless those around us. Absolutely. And, and again, as you said, we we're already hearing some really cool stories about what's happening there. We're going to continue to hear some of those. So we just want to encourage you to be here Sunday. Not that that's the point. That's going to be preparation for the point as we celebrate what has happened this week and we prepare for what God is going to do in our lives next week. We hope you'll join us.